Hi, this is Tamara from mooglyblog.com and today I'm going to show you how to do front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Post stitches, as these are called, are used in crochet ribbing, like I have a sample of here, as well as in crochet cabling. They aren't always double crochets, there's also post treble crochets and other sizes. No matter what the size of the stitch, the basic premise is the same. Let's try one. You can see here, I've already made a row of double crochets and started a second row. To do a post stitch into the next stitch, rather than yarning over and going into the top of the V, I'm going to yarn over and then come down here to the post of the stitch of the previous row and coming from front to back, go from right to left around the post of the previous row. Yarn over, pull it behind the post, and then finish your double crochet just as you normally would. And that's a front post double crochet. Let's do it again. Yarn over, find the body of the next stitch, and going from front to back, right to left, go around the post, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's another front post double crochet. Now we'll try back post. It's the same thing, yarn over, but instead of going from front to back, you want to go behind your fabric and go from right to left, from back to front, around the post. This one can be difficult to pull through, so don't be afraid to turn your work over. Get that loop up there and make your next double crochet. You can see the top of the previous row is stays unworked and we'll do another back post. Yarn over, from back to front, right to left, go around the post, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, finish your double crochet, and that's two back post stitches. Let's pretend this is the end of the row, and I will work a double crochet right into the top of the next stitch, leaving these completely unworked, got a whole new top here. I will chain two, turn the work, and start again. Now once I've turned these over, you see what were back post double crochets have become front post from this side. This is how the ribbing works. So instead of back post double crocheting into these, a front post right around the body of the previous row. Finish the double crochet. Do it again around this one. And we've made another set of front post double crochets. As you can see, they line up nicely in a column, just like in our swatch, where we have four on this side. And by working front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, in the back, we've got the other side of our ribbing. And that's back post and front post double crochet.